Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another three box break of Fanatics Under Wraps Autograph Baseball. These are a lot of fun. This is break number 31. One spot gets you nine players. One person will get the any and all multi-signed baseball spot. I feel like, I feel like we haven't seen one in a little bit. Are we due? Big thanks to Steve, Kevin, Steven, and Eugene for getting in on this one. One spot gets you nine, so let's nine tuple you up. So there should be 171 items on each list. There we go. That matches up. Let's gather your names, put them into the first list. Gather these names. Get them into the other list. We'll put the randomizer results right here. Let's randomize both lists. Five and a five. Ten the hard way. One, two, three. And 10th and final time. There'll be a lot of Steve Birches on this list. Some others mixed in as well. Good luck to all. Five and a five for the players. And 10th and final time. After 10, we got Dion, Neon Dion Sanders down to Jock Peterson. All right, so I'm just going to show you the list as is, and then I'll alphabetize by your first name so you can see all of your players uh, grouped together. See, Birch, you got the multi sign baseball spot. All right, so there's everybody there. Now let's alphabetize by first names. So Eugene, there are your players there, including your last spot Mojo players. Kevin, there's your group of players right here. Stephen K, your group of players right here. And Steve Birch, you have the rest. There you go. All right, we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done. So that list remains the same. The chat's been a little quiet. I wonder if there's any players here for Who Am I? And we'll find out. All right, let's get some uh, let's get some clues for you here. Who am I? Former baseball player, currently 65 years old, a lefty, throws left, bats left, had a lifetime 268 batting average, 255 home runs, 870 runs batted in, two-time World Series champion, an NL MVP, an ALCS MVP a one-time Silver Slugger, and a one-time NL Manager of the Year. Let me see. If, let me go to baseball reference. Let me give you his stats in his MVP winning year. This might give a, give a little bit of way as well. He beat out... He beat out Daryl Strawberry... And Kevin McReynolds and Andy Van Slyke and Will Clark. Those are those are the five. And he got the MVP. He had a six five war that year. Wins above replaced. They didn't really use that back then. But pretty justified. He had uh, he hit two ninety that year. Twenty five home runs, seventy six RBIs, thirty one stolen bases. Scored a hundred and six runs. 157 hits, 
28 doubles and a triple. Won a silver slugger that year as well. He won a World Series with the Tigers. And won a World Series with the Dodgers. Not Donnie Baseball. Not Alan Trammell. I don't think he won two World Series. And I don't think he played, didn't play for the Dodgers. Played for the Tigers and Dodgers. Kirk Gibson, Dodger World Series hero. There's the Fanatic sticker. There's the uh, the MLB hologram sticker right there. I think it was a former football player. That goes to Steve Birch. Gave, uh, gave sort of a football player mentality to a talented Dodgers club that wasn't really serious enough, I think, in previous years. But he really changed the, the vibe of that team. He's been, has he been battling cancer or something like that recently? Parkinson's disease. That's, that's what he has. So he was diagnosed with in 2015. Uh, so in the personal life section of Kirk Gibson, Gibson is an avid deer hunter. He and former teammate David Wells, along with former MLB pitcher Jake Peavy, own a 1,300-acre hunting ranch near Millersburg, Michigan. That look, that sounds like a fun group. Kirk Gibson, David Wells, Jake Peavy. Imagine the stories. Ooh, we got a gold baseball. Gold baseball. All right, who am I? An active first baseman in Major League Baseball, a righty. Played for four teams my entire career. And on my fifth, haven't played a, a game yet. Game season hasn't started yet. Lifetime 254 batting average, 95 home runs, 272 runs batted in. Was the MLB home run leader in 2020, which is the uh, COVID shortened season. Signed a signed a one year minor league deal with this current team with an invitation to their spring training. After then he opted out of his contract and then became a free agent and then signed a one year major league contract with this team. That's right, Luke Voigt. And that is for, that's also for Steve Birch. And this is Padres edition of Luke Voigt. It's got the Padres logo right there. There's his black ink auto. This is pretty cool. And got the stickers right there as well. By the way, if this was a team... Uh, a random team break, right? We would send it to the Dodgers because it specifically has that sort of a year there in case you were wondering how that would work. And obviously that Luke Voigt would go, would, would go to the Padres. The random player break makes it a lot easier. All right, third and final. We got another gold baseball. All right, another gold baseball, active player. I love the look of those gold baseballs. All right, active pitcher, a, right, a starting pitcher. Righty, but bats left, even though the pitchers won't bat anymore. Um, from Simi... 
Simima, Georgia. Is that how you say it? Simima, Georgia. I, I my win loss record seventy four and fifty seven, a three four two ERA, and one thousand one hundred eighty nine strikeouts. Played for two teams my entire career, a one time All Star, and a strikeout leader. Uh, a couple years ago, twenty twenty one. I feel like I've I feel like this player has kind of hit his stride a little more recently. It's got a five-pitch repertoire, four-seam fastball, sinker, curveball, slider, and changeup. Baseball analysts consider my four-seam fastball to be my best pitch, boasting a comparable release path to retired Phillies ace Cole Hamels. In 2019, his average fastball of 96.8 miles per hour was much higher than the MLB average. Sinker is also known for the velocity. As my career progressed, though, I began to show a preference for pitching the fastball as batters made more contact, often against the sinker. The change is similar to that of Yankees pitcher Garrett Cole, whose performance also improved after abandoning his, uh, his sinker. Let me give you, some, uh, let me give you his la last year's stats. 2022, last season, has a 5.1 wins above replacement. He had a great season. A 2.82 ERA went 12 and 7 over 26 starts. 163 strikeouts over 153 innings. A 1.039 war uh, whip. That is great season for him. No Cy Young consideration. But maybe if he did a full 30 some odd starts, maybe he would have. Maybe snuck into the car. I don't think he would have won, but I think he would have been in the conversation. Drafted by the Giants in the first round, sixth overall in the 2009 draft out of high school. I don't think he ever made a major league appearance with the Giants. Was he traded? He must have been. Who was he traded for? Maybe someone will remember this deal. So the Giants traded me to the Mets. There's another clue. In exchange for veteran outfielder Carlos Beltran and Cash. Giants general manager Brian Sabian said that they chose to trade me rather than a position player because we didn't think Zach... Oh, I said it. We didn't think that was, I was just reading what was on the stream. We didn't think that I was going to make an impact in our situation in the immediate future. It's going to be for Steve Birch. I gave it away already. Yep, Zach Wheeler. Gold Baseball. Had a really nice season last year. That's really cool. Nice. Let's see if we can keep it up this season. I kind of want to try to get him on my fantasy team, but it didn't work out. There you go, gang. C. Birch, congrats to you. You bought a ton of spots and you were rewarded. You got all three baseballs. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for another one. Bye-bye.